हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू काउच कॉफ़ी बुक्स आज आप सुनेंगे मुल्क राज आनंद जी द्वारा लिखित कहानी द लॉस्ट चाइल्ड चलिए कहानी शुरू करते हैं द लॉस्ट चाइल्ड इट वाज़ द फेस्टिवल ऑफ स्प्रिंग फ्रॉम द विंटरी शेड्स ऑफ नैरो लेंस एंड एलीज इमर्ज ए गेली क्लैड ह्यूमैनिटी thick as a swarm of bright colored rabbits issuing from a warren they enter the flooded sea of sparkling silver sunshine outside the city gates and sped towards the fair some walked some rode on horses others sat being carried in bamboo and bullock carts one little boy ran between his parents legs brimming over with life and laughter the joyous morning gave greetings and unshamed invitation to all to come away into the fields full of flowers and songs come child come called his parents and he lagged behind fascinated by the toys in the shops that lined the way he hurried towards his parents his feet obedient to their call his eyes still lingering on the receding toys as he came to where they had stopped to wait for him he could not suppress the desire of his heart even though he well knew the old cold stare of refusal in their eyes i want that toy he pleaded his father looked at him red eyed in his familiar tyrant's way his mother melted by the free spirit of the day was tender and giving him her finger to catch said look child what is before you the faint disgust of the child's unfulfilled desire had hardly been quelled in the heavy pouting soft sob of a breath mother when the pleasure of what was before him filled his eager eyes they had left the dusty road on which they had walked so far it wended its weary way circuitously to the north they had come upon a footpath in a field it was a flowering mustard field paled like melting gold as it swept across miles and miles of even land a river of yellow liquid light ebbing and falling with each fresh eddy of wild wind and straying in places into broad rich tributary streams yet running in a constant sunny sweep towards the distant mirage of an ocean of silver light where it ended on one side stood a cluster of low mud walled houses thrown into relief by a dense crowd of yellow robed men and women from which arose a high pitched sequence of whistling creaking squeaking roaring humming noises sweeping across the grooves to the blue throated sky like the weird strange sound of shiva's mad laughter the child looked up to his father and mother saturated with the shrill joy and wonder of this vast glory and feeling that they too wore the evidence of this pure delight in their faces he left the footpath and plunged headlong into the field prancing like a young colt his small feet timing with the fitful gusts of wind that came rich with the fragrance of more distant fields a group of dragonflies were bustling about on their gaudy purple wings intercepting the flights of a lone black butterfly in search of sweetness from the flowers the child followed them in the air with his gaze till one of them found fold his wings and rest and he would try to catch it but it would go fluttering flapping up into the air when he had almost caught it in his hands one bold black bee 
having evaded capture, sought to tempt him by winding round his ear and nearly settled, settled on his lips. When his mother gave a cautionary call, Come, child, come, come on to foot, footpath. He ran towards his parents gaily and walked abreast to them for a while, being, however, soon left behind. Attracted by the little insects and worms along the footpath that were teeming out from their hiding places to enjoy the sunshine. Come, child, come, his parents called from the shades of a groove where they had seated themselves on the edge of a wall. He ran towards them. An old banyan tree outstretched its powerful arms over the blossoming jack and jamun and neem and champak and shisha and cast its shadows across beds of golden cassis and crimson gulmohar as an old grandmother spreads her skirts over her young ones. But the blushing blossoms freely offered their adoration to the sun in spite of their protecting chaffron by half covering themselves and by sweet perfume of their pollen mingled with the soft, cool breeze that came and went in little puffs, only to be wafted afloat by a stronger breeze. A shower of young flowers fell upon the child as he entered the groove and forgetting his parents, he began to gather the raining petals in his hands. But lo, he heard the cooing of the doves and ran towards his parents, shouting, the dove, the dove. The raining petals dropped from his forgotten hands. A curious look was in his parents' faces till a coil struck out a knot of love and released their pent up souls. Come, child, come, they called to the child who had now gone running in wild capers round the banyan tree. And gathering him up, they took the narrow, winding footpath which led to the fair through the mustard fields. As they neared the village, the child could see many other footpaths full of throngs converging to the whirlpool of the fair and felt at once repelled and fascinated by the confusion of the world he was entering. A sweet meat seller hopped, gulab jamun, rasgulla, barfi, jalebi, as the corner of the entrance and a crowd pressed round his counter at the foot of an architecture of many colored sweets, decorated with leaves of silver and gold. The child stared open-eyed and his mouth watered for the burfi that was his favorite sweet. I want that burfi, he slowly murmured, but he half knew as he begged that his plea would not be heeded because his parents would say he was greedy. So without waiting for an answer, he moved on. A flower seller hopped. A garland of Gulmohar. A garland of Gulmohar. The child seemed irresistibly drawn by the impeccable sweetness of the scents that came floating on the wings of the languid air. He went towards the basket where the flowers were heaped and half murmured, I want that garland. But he well knew his parents would refuse to buy him those flowers because they would say they were cheap. So without waiting for an answer, he moved on. A man stood holding a pole with yellow, red, green and purple balloons flying from it. The child was simply carried away by the rainbow glory of the silken colors and he was possessed by an overwhelming desire to possess them all. But he well knew his parents would never buy him the balloons because they would say he was too old to play with such toys. So he walked on further. A snake charmer stood playing a flute to a snake which coiled itself in a basket, its head raised in a graceful bend like the neck of a swan while the music stole into its invisible ears like the gentle ripping of a miniature waterfall. 
the child went towards the snake charmer but knowing his parents had forbidden him to hear such coarse music as the snake charmer played he processed further there was a roundabout in full swing men women and children carried away in a whirling motion shrieked and cried with his dizzy laughter the child watched them intently going round and round a pink blush of a smile on his face his eyes rippling with the same movement his lips parted in amazement till he felt that he himself was being carried round the ring seemed to go fiercely at first then gradually it began to move less fast presently the child wrapped finger in his mouth beheld it stop this time before his overpowering lover for the anticipated sensation of movement had been chilled by the thought of his parents eternal denial he made a bold request i want to go on that roundabout please father mother there was no reply he turned to look at his parents they were not there ahead of him he turned to look on either side they were not there he looked behind there was no sign of them a full deep cry rose within his dry throat and with a sudden jerk of his body he ran from where he stood crying in real fear mother father tears rolled down from his eyes hot and fierce his flushed face was convulsed with fear panic stricken he ran to one side first then to the other hither and thither in all directions knowing not where to go mother father he wailed with a moist shrill breath now his throat being wet with swallowing the spittle his yellow turban untied and his clothes wet with perspiration became muddy where the dust had mixed with the sweat the dust of his body his light frame seemed heavy as a mass of lead having run to and fro in a rage of running for a while he stood defeated his cries suppressed into sobs at little distances on the green grass he could see through his filmy eyes men and women talking he tried to look intently among the patches of bright yellow cloths but there was no sign of his father and mother among these people who seemed to laugh and talk just for the sake of laughing and talking he ran quickly again this time to a shrine to wi- to which people seemed to be crowding every little inch of space here was congested with men but he ran through people's legs his little sob lingering mother father near the entrance to the temple however the crowd became very thick men jostled each other heavy men with flashing murderous eyes and hefty shoulders the poor child struggled to thrust away between their feet but knocked to and fro by their brutal movements he might have been trampled underfoot had he not shrieked at the highest pitch of his voice father mother a man in the surging crowd heard his cry and stopping with very great difficulty lifted him up in his arms how did you get here child whose baby are you the man asked as he steered clear of the mass the child wept more bitterly than ever now and only cried i want my mother i want my father the man tried to soothe him by taking him to the roundabout will you have a ride on the horse he gently asked as he approached the ring the child's throat tore into a thousand shrill sobs and he only shouted i want my mother i want my father the man headed towards the place where the snake charmer still played on the flute to the swaying cobra listen to that nice music child he pleaded but the child shut his ears with his fingers and shouted his double pitched strain i want my mother i want my father 
द मैन टुक हिम नियर द बलून्स थिंकिंग द ब्राइट कलर्स ऑफ द बलून्स वुड डिस्ट्रैक्ट द चाइल्ड्स अटेंशन एंड क्वाइट अन हिम वुड यू लाइक ए रेनबो कलर्ड बलून ही परसुएसिवली आस्ट द चाइल्ड टर्न हिज आइज फ्रॉम द फ्लाइंग बलून्स एंड जस्ट सॉफ्ड I want my mother I want my father The man is still importunate in his kindly desire to make the child happy bore him to the gate where the flower seller sat Look can you smell those nice flowers child would you like a garland to put round your neck The child turned his nose away from the basket and reiterated his sob I want my mother I want my father Thinking to humor his disconsolate charge by a gift of sweets, the man took him to the counter of sweet shop. What sweets would you like, child? He asked. The child turned his face from the sweet shop and only sobbed. I want my mother. I want my father. Friends, ये थी मुलकराज आनंद जी की कहानी The Lost Child. Comment में आप जरूर बताइएगा कहानी आपको. कैसी लगी सी यू सून विद अनोदर स्टोरी टिल देन टेक केयर